take my whites? Oh dear. Oh my God, everyone's got a view of everything. start off with saying let's get this off because it's so hot oh girls no girl you can just throw yourself around like that okay back to the video so guys i would just wanted to do a update collection video of my smart dolls i do have my little cup of soup with me um, as I am yet on another diet, which always happens. Okay, so I wanted to do a uh, talk about smart dolls and my current full collection. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of my first doll. Uh, my first doll was Monday in tea. And let's say hello. Okay guys, so here she is. Um, this was my first ever smart doll. Um, this is Monday in tea, as I said. Um, I, I picked her out because um, I absolutely fell in love with the big sort of dolly eyes. Um, and she was a semi-real, so that was another reason. I'm also um, more of a semi-real fan. Um, I like my dolls to um, look more realistic, a bit like Barbie, I guess. Um, yeah, so um, that was the reason I picked her. Um, also um, because she reminded me of Ginger Spice from the Spice Girls. Um, and I do love her, her, usually her signature outfit is anything in Union Jack. I would love like Elite Doll World or Doll Dray to release kind of like, not so much a Spice Girls line of clothes, but maybe like a Spice Girls themed line of clothes, you know, so you would have a uh, Union Jack um, sort of outfit, uh, leopard print, uh, black, um, sporty, and pink maybe, white, um, you know, inspired looks for, you know, like like I said, a Spice Girls sort of themed look. Um, it would be really dangerous because I would spend a lot of money. Monday is currently wearing, so she is wearing a wig I got from eBay. Uh, this wig is like um, the ponytails sort of thing. So um, you can clip it however you like. This one is currently um, modeling a down ponytail. Um, so that's great. Uh, her earrings are from Kit and Cat. Really need to get all my other girls sorted with this earring thing. And I need some more because I've got like two pairs, including the ones they come with. Um, she's got a necklace made by myself. She's got a little microphone, AliExpress for like tuppence. Um, also, she is modeling uh, CJ clothes. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of CJ clothes because they are like, Primani um, sort of <laughs> prices. Um, I do, I would love more, but it, they are expensive. Um, you probably get one outfit on a budget. Um, and she's got the shorts as well um, underneath. So I love that. She's also wearing her little um, tribute to the Spice Girls with a little badge. Um, the shoes are actually from AliExpress. Again, tuppence, you know, sort of prices. They're really cheap, really easy. So anyway, that is my first girl. So let's move on to the second girl, shall we? Okay, so here is my second girl. Um, my ultimate plan was to have one smart doll forever. And then I kind of fed her after midnight and yeah, as you know, the rules you're not supposed to. And then this happened, she multiplied. So 
I ended up getting Genesis in tea. Um, I just thought she was an absolute dark beauty. Um, her name is Tiffany. Um, she's, like I said, she's my dark beauty. Um, I, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's really funny because I'm, I'm usually kind of a blonde doll kind of person. Um, and I always love, you know, the Barbie look. Um, but for a change, um, these were the two girls I kind of went for first. My plan was ultimately uh, to get um, Jerry in, with a, uh, um, a blonde wig, but I kind of ended up just loving her in, in red hair, so she kind of stayed that way. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about um, my um, Genesis girl, Tiffany. So she's wearing a wig from Doll, Doll Dallas & Co. I think that's how you, that's what it's called. Um, that's what she's wearing. Um, I straightened it, which I much prefer. Um, it's got like two tones. Um, she's wearing a necklace made by me, um, earrings from Kitten Cats. This outfit, I can't remember the name of the store. Um, I seen it and loved it and it says Dangerous Beauty on it and it just fits her personality so much. She's got little socks that are also pretty cheap from AliExpress. AliExpress is great guys if you need some cheap little outfits. And the shoes, like 30 pounds from Mori Time. Now, Mori Time's great, great, but it's again pricey. But then a lot of smart doll shops are pricey, so we're not gonna grumble too much on that. Um, and obviously with smart doll, if you pay the price, you get good quality, really good quality. Um, but then again, I look at also AliExpress as like, Primer for Smart Doll. So it's nice and cheap, um, cheerful, and they are quite nice. So it's not too bad. But anyway, so that is my second girl. Again, fed them after midnight and they multiplied again. Okay, guys, please welcome my third beauty. Um, this is Valiant in Cinnamon. So this was my first Cinnamon girl. And yes, I did have quite a few smart dolls in a short period of time. But yeah, this is my Valiant. Um, I went for her because at the time I, I, I had, I put some, I had some money that I could buy another one. There wasn't a lot going. There wasn't a lot many girls to pick from. Um, and I did say I was gonna get a Coco, but this one drew me in more. Um, I also never thought I'd own a girl with like I, not a defect because that's wrong but um, like an imperfection due to um, just life um, you know born with it sort of thing um, and this one had a birthmark across her eye and, and down her shoulder and on her bust and I read her story and I just fell in love with it so I do have a soft spot for Clea this is her name and um, when I got her, I loved the grey wig, but then, I, I don't know what it was, I was falling out of love with her, and I know that sounds bad, if you do sound bad, close your ears. So I thought, I need to do something, I thought, I need a blonde girl, and this is what happened. I got this really, really long blonde wig, um, I love keeping it back over her shoulders, and um, I got it from AliExpress, um, it's probably not the best quality but it's not the worst um you know it doesn't shed it's really long it's really silky and really thick um so yeah i, I can't grumble and i think it it wasn't expensive it might have cost me like 14 pounds or something um and it, it just the blonde really suits her and it's like a really pale blonde so i love her so much with blonde um and yeah she stole my heart so she is wearing um, one of the necklaces by me. She's wearing Elite Doll World as well, which they are fantastic. Um, their stuff is, how do I explain it? It's very day-to-day, -day, I think. Sometimes they throw in something a little bit out there, um, which this, this stuff was kind of a little bit out there and day-to-day. -day. I'm a huge sucker for black and white clothes, but I wear a lot of black and white. So when I seen it, I was like, oh, I've got no money, but I need one thing i could only afford one thing at the time so i bought this one uh, absolutely love it so i'm really happy with that and happy with 
my clear, my first cinnamon. So let's move on and meet smart doll number four, shall we? Okay, guys, so let's just uh, move her over a little sec. Um, this is my, um, okay, so this smart doll, I had got to a stage in smart doll life where I really wanted a Mirai. But again, I don't collect the um, anime dolls, nothing against them. They are all very cute. Um, they have more of a cute look than the semi-reels. Um, so for me personally, they don't fit in with my family and these girls do. So I wanted a semi-reel Mirai and I started seeing the chaos heads go around. It was like a Monday sculpt, but with the Mirai makeup. So it was kind of like a Mirai semi-reel. I seen the head and she had blue eyes and I was like, oh, and she kind of reminded me of Monday too much, but I was like, can I have the head please, but no eyes. So I brought her off a seller. I can't remember if it was on Facebook or Instagram. And then uh, she came and bought some eyes, which were actually the same eyes as Genesis. Uh, you wouldn't tell, uh, they are the same color, but by the shape of the eye molds. Um, a lot of people said to me, you need to be careful with buying semi-real eyes for the Monday Sculpt. But personally, uh, I have no issues with it. Um, she doesn't look old to surprise or anything. She doesn't look any different than Monday. Um, so the eyes fit fine, absolutely fine. I don't know if you can see a really big close up, but her, I have done a video where you can go and check that out. Um, then I got the Mirai wig, because obviously I needed her to look like Mirai. And I was super happy, super happy. I felt like finally I got my Mirai semi-real girl. So then it took me a long, 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 long time to get a body. I was like, oh, I've got no money for these body. I've got no money for this body because buying a doll is expensive, but buying a head and then her eyes and a body, as we all know, it's super expensive. It works out expensive. But anyway, we got her and super happy now that she's put together. So I've got this, she is wearing a little daisy hair clip that I have here. Um, she's got a necklace by me. She's got a white t-shirt that looks like a dress. I put a little belt around it. Um, that was off a Facebook market place, I think, um, dress. She's also got some socks, again, really cheap from AliExpress. And I also got the shoes from somebody on the marketplace, but also found those on AliExpress, really cheap. So. Yeah, again, guys, Aliexpress is great if you just want, you know, to have a little cheeky bundle of clothes. It's nice to get a lot of stuff in one go. Um, and her little jacket is also, uh, it's not a jacket, it's like a cardi. It's also from Aliexpress. Uh, I'm not sure if it is, um, oh, okay, it's poppers. They're poppers. So yeah, they're, they're usable. <sighs> but this is, um, her name is Marley um, and yeah I, I did kind of want to get her into like a flowery sort of girly look she's probably the youngest girl I'd say about out of all of mine let's move on to the final doll in this collection final girl in the collection on my far left I have to think about that then is imagine another cinnamon three cinnamon so let's talk about imagine so Imagine is one of the new, brand new uh, option heads. So again, guys, with the option heads, yes, we all know our smart dog collectors. They are fantastic for bringing in new girls that we've always wanted. Fantastic for that. But the price we do worry about uh, because we know we have to get a body. If some of us love to have bodies, um, some of us can do but, um, head switching, I personally can't. Um, soon as I got Imagine, because I wanted her as soon as I seen her, and it took me a while to get her. She kept going out of stock, I couldn't afford her really. Um, and I just knew I had to have her at one point. Ended up getting a body this few days later with big boobies. So, she's my first girl. I think these two, these two have medium busts. These two have standard busts. Kind of suits their personality. And I was planning to get um, her into either medium or standard. Just think like it looked her personality. 
But someone was selling one with the large bust and I thought, mm, do I really want one with really, really large? Well, it's not extra, extra large, which I've seen those and I just personally think they're too big. Um, they look really silly. Um, even it just doesn't look natural. Um, but mine has a, a large bust. It's kind of big, but I kind of, I've grown on it now. But then these two girls look like they have small busts compared to this one. It's, it's quite big. But anyway, got the bust and the body. Put her straight on it. I was, I was like, this girl needs a body. She, she can't wait. And even Marley had to wait. So she, even though she is my um, fourth smart doll, I had her head first, but body came in a bit later. Even though I bought the body first, but it came later because it was a US seller. This one was a UK seller. It was a no brainer. So anyway, um, imagine this is Roxanne and she is finally my proper blonde pink Barbie girl. So it's taken me four dolls before I got to my Barbie. <laughs> None of these really suited Barbie, maybe Barbie's friends, but I never had a proper Barbie. I should have called her Barbie, but she's called Roxanne. I think it really suits her. Imagine it's got the most gorgeous, gorgeous face, blue eyes, and I love her wig that comes with it. Um, I think it's the same wig as Dauntless um, in tea. So this wig's, I think, been around for a while. I've always loved it and it's always made me want to get it. And obviously she came with it. So I feel like she looks great. She is modeling uh, a Dolgeray headband, Dolgeray outfit and CJ shoes and AliExpress tights. Now let's quickly have a quick talk. Dolgeray is a fantastic, beautiful company that sells smart doll clothes. I'm obsessed with Dolgeray. I absolutely love their fashions. Their prices are quite steep, but you get amazing quality details there's tiny little details on this pink overcoat dress it's perfect for the cj shoes um the headband was also like just separately i, I kind of bought it for my alice outfit but it really looks well great with this outfit um i haven't taken her out of it she looks absolutely beautiful i love this outfit and Again, Dolgeray know me uh, for buying their outfits, but they also know that I have a little bit of an issue with no backs. They don't have any backs on them to fit the little stands. And it just upsets me so much because I really want them to find a way to get in that little thing. And if they do, their outfits will be, in my opinion, the best out there. That's my opinion. Um, so yeah. At the moment, her stand, I didn't know I could do this. I um, put her stand up the bout and turned it around. So it kind of works, but it was a bit slippery on my table, but it worked. Anyway, enough about the stance. Um, anyway, guys, so this is my collection in a year. I'm broke. <laughs> um, these dolls are, they have so much personality. I've never collected a doll like this. My dolls are usually Disney. And obviously Disney dolls, you buy them and that's it. These dolls rinse you. You really need to set by um, a budget because these dolls will have you going for ages and ages and ages. They always need accessories. They always want body parts. You can buy hands, you can buy busts, you can change their heads now, you can change their wigs. You can change anything. You can change your legs to a prosthetic leg. You can give them um, all sorts of cosmetic stuff as well. Um, they can't, there's just so much out there now. You can even turn them into robots, which some people like. There's just so much you can do with these dolls. They are full of personality and ooze it from you. They also take away your money. I know everyone mentioned that again. Um, but yeah, they are fantastic. They're super big, so they really do um, take up a lot of space. Um, my girls are still waiting for a home. Um, I, I need to get a cabinet, basically. Um, the, at the moment, they just chill on their little sofas in the corner of my doll room, which is great because I can easily access them and grab them and change them up. They do have so many accessories already. Um, but yeah. I mean, 
They are super, super great. I absolutely love them. Um, I, like I said, I didn't think I would end up with so many, but they do multiply. I don't want any more, but I do want a Coco Girl to finish off my sort of collection. If I do get one, a Coco would probably be one and it might be beyond because she's got a cute little face. She kind of looks a little bit like Monday. She's got a little button nose and she's got gorgeous dark hair, which, and also I've seen wigs that I want to get for her, like braids. Oh, it just looks so cute. There's so many, you know, you can get different colored ones. You know, there's blue ones, which I was never a fan until I seen my friend get one. And then it was like, now I need a blue one. I was so tempted to turn one into a Smurf, Smurfette. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, there's so many possibilities with these dolls that make you want to get more bits and change them up. But they are gorgeous. They're, like I said, full, full of personality. Um, and I do recommend um, looking into getting one. They're so exclusive as well. Um, they are available for worldwide, but you can't just go on and buy one and throw them in the basket. You know, you have to go through a process. You know, uh, the, the creator, Danny Chu, likes to know where his dolls are going, um, you know, to make sure that some a proper collector, not just someone who thinks this, that it's okay to buy one and then change their mind. You know, you really have to do your homework, check out the videos. Um, but anyway, guys, I could probably talk about this for ages, but um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments who's your favourite, um, who you've got lined up next. Um, you could even tell me which ones you dislike. Let's, you know, let's talk about everything. Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm sure lots more Smart Dog videos are coming your way. Also, guys, don't forget you can download all my music on Spotify and iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon Music, if you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching.